statues. A few houses here as well. It's quite new. I can't even go through the gates. Down the hill and along the track. Which hill? Good morning. Day four. I'm just it's ten o'clock and I'm just leaving Sandy Sykes uh, bunk barns. Had the whole thing to myself last night, which is great because I could spread all my stuff out. I had radiators and heated towel rail as well, so I could get anything damp from the day before. Dried. Even had nice warm clothes to put on this morning. Ooh. Uh, well, it was good. Um, you know, had a cooker, microwave, toaster, uh, kettle, tea and coffee. And I go that way. Oh, it's got a just a rope. <coughs> Oh no, he's got another rope down there. Hang on. I'm not actually on the track. The bloke I'm saying is like, just told me to come down this way because apparently it used to go through their farm and we got it diverted into the woods. But they said, if you stay here, you can go this way. Mm -hmm. Okay. It's <laughs> not very good. Two hands. No, that's not going to work. All right. Um, got the top one done. Ah, uh, what else was I going to say? Oh, yes. As you probably noticed, I just have a day pack on today with all my wet weather gear in it, obviously, and my lunch and some water. And the of tea. Never forget the firm of tea. And uh, I used to obviously clip this bag here, you can see, onto my backpack, but this backpack is, doesn't have any extra hookings and watching out of because it's literally a fold up day pack. Um, so we'll see how it goes hooked around my neck. It can be a Go around your waist but uh, because of the size of it it doesn't really sit very well that's more be no more annoying uh, hanging from your waist than it would be um well, probably hanging from around my neck but we'll see how the mask has goes on i've got about 10 miles to do today so that'll be a nice walk um didn't want to uh, wear myself out today with carrying a backpack due to tomorrow and the day after which are going to be long ones so I'll have to leave earlier for those I did sort of actually when I looked at the weather forecast it just looked like it's gonna it was gonna be very wet this morning and dry by 10 So I just took my time getting there this morning. And uh, rather long introduction. Apparently I do see some real wall today. So that'll be good. I just had to shorten this bag a bit because it's hitting me thigh as I walk, which is annoying. Till next time. To the parish of Walton. The reading room. 
to the cafe, but too early. I I didn't have any breakfast to go in. I'd go and have a breakfast. I had my eggs and cheese this morning. Actually quite warm, very humid. So I don't know, maybe cloudy, but it's going to be humid. A lot of glare, maybe. Put the sunglasses on soon, I think. It's good. New build going on there. New amongst the old. Oh, I said I had to. I think I filmed them, but they show. I've seen some. Rather spectacular new houses being built. And you saw like in the middle of nowhere. Interesting. Little farms around here. Wildflowers. That's another bunkhouse. I didn't even know. Flores bunkhouse accommodation. Oh, I might have known about that one actually, yeah. I think I chose that one because of the distance. Well, that wasn't very far, it's only half a mile further on. But that was good, that was cool, coming out here myself. Now, if I compared the two, the first one, which was £12 for the night, which had pillows, and... Uh, kitchen facilities, let's see, I think I, and that one was 15, possibly the kitchen facilities in this one was better, but uh, I mean, you know, a microwave and a kettle and a cooker, as long as they work. Um, had nice big kitchen tables the first one so still uh, shower facilities were probably a bit smarter in the first one as well you know so for £12 that hillside farm was a real bargain uh, didn't have any heating upstairs though so you didn't need the blanket. I was quite warm last night. I've only got a cheap old sleeping bag. Because um, it had the radiators on. And uh, that was good. So this one is a hostel I'm going to. It's a hotel with a hostel attached to it. <coughs> the original one I wanted to was booked out by a group. So we shall see what this is like. This one's... Coming up is going to be £17.50. So, we shall see. The camping still is the cheaper option. It's just the carrying all the weight, isn't it? Mind you, I suppose if you camped with cheaper options and got luggage transfer service, it's only the rain that's uh, annoying though. Once you get everything damp and you're in a campsite, there's no way to really you can try it out. <laughs> nice little view there. Alright, it looks like the hills are starting. And I tell you what, it's uh, really humid now. You know the temperature says it's only going to reach about 18 or 19 degrees or something. It's going to feel a lot hotter than that. Already sweating. And I am so glad that I dumped the backpack. We have war, people. We have war. How about that? Oh, there's a little plaque here. Let's have a read of that. There we go, Hare Hill, a precious fragment of a mighty wall. 
The Roman army started building Hadrian's Wall in AD 122 and may have completed the task in under 10 years. They crossed our island between Walls End and Valnus on Solway, marking the northwestern frontier of the Roman Empire. And there it is. See a lot more from that one, but that's me first. But we oh, must be getting closer to lots of wall. People everywhere. Keeping out those pesky scouts. <laughs> Almost lunchtime. So I shall uh, find a spot to sit and have lunch in a bit. That uh, birds of old Roman fort. There's a shop there that does cheese. So I shall get some more cheese. And we'll have Pike Hill Signal Tower. In Pike Hill, there are long views in all directions for Roman soldiers. The perfect place to keep watch. In the 30 years before Hadrian's War was begun, the tower overlooked the Stan, Stangate, a Roman road in the valley to the south. Okay, that's what's left of the little tower. And here we have Piper Psyche, another turret, 51A. I have done 4.89 miles and um, it's one o'clock. Time for lunch. I need to, once I come off the road again, I shall uh, find a spot to have me lunch. See the uh, ditch that I used to build? They dug out in front of the wall to make it harder for those pesky Scots to attack. Lovely old house here. Got old milk urns outside the door. Like that style. Wow, I've come across loads of people today. We'll go in the other direction. There was a couple behind me going this direction, but I don't know what happened to them. Anyway, yeah, it seems really weird. After I've had this in only one or two people maybe a day come in the other direction today I've seen loads and uh, it just happened to be the day that I hit the wall as well still looking for that spot to have my lunch there's a ditch zoom oh yeah just a while back um, Met an Australian bloke, a bit cheeky, so we ended up taking the selfies. <laughs> so, if you watch my 
video. Middle name Leslie. <laughs> That's my shout out. Right, I've done 6.45 miles. It's now uh, about quarter to two. We're looking for a place to stop for lunch. So I found this tree to sit under. It's amongst a whole lot of nettles and thistles. A few flies because it's farmland, obviously. But uh, I need to stop to have a rest. I haven't really stopped. And uh, I had these people, those two people behind me, they're down at the bottom now. I was coming over the stile and instead of waiting until I actually got over it, I was at the top and then they start climbing up it straight behind me. I mean, I've still got to put my hands down and to balance myself. Assholes. Anyway, they've gone ahead of me now, so that's it. Man, I've been sweating something chronic. Oh. This backpack isn't designed for that because it just rests straight up against your back. But, um, How long will stay with all these flies? There's quite a few flies actually. Wow! After nearly 30 miles of no wall, it's just a wall fest today. There's not much of it left there. You can see it gets wider up there. Still very warm. Oh, and by the way, the uh, insect repellent worked great with the flies. Sprayed my hat as well. Not left me alone while I ate my lunch. So that was good. Sitting under the shade of a tree. That tree, that solo tree up there. Um, I don't know, I'm probably, I want to go to this cheese place, it's probably it was about 15 minutes off the trail, <laughs> do I really want to walk extra, or I could just go into the town tomorrow, which is still off trail, but I'll collect some, oh, I might do it today, because tomorrow I've got a Longer walk today is only 10 miles. God knows how I'm going to do the 16 tomorrow and then the 18 after. Oh, we've got another probably turret. Oh, I've got a style you can go in there and if you want to. You can see just as well here. It's a bit boggy. Let's see what the sign says. Seen a lot of people walk down to the sign, I thought they were on the walk path, but they obviously weren't because they just come to the sign and went back. Whatever happened to turret 49A? Turret 49A was built on the line of the turf wall when a building of the stone wall and Bird's Bold Fort began. The turret was demolished to make way for it. Ah. So one presumes that's probably the turf wall. That obviously wasn't enough to keep the biscuits hooked up. So then they, I guess. Oh, this is 49A. Got them confused. Oh no, it was up there. Now it's down here, I think. Originally the wall in this area was made of turf. This course was further south, it's been earlier. Before the wall was completed, it was decided to incorporate large forts. Later the turf wall was demolished and replaced in stone in its present position and a new turret was built here. So that isn't the turf wall, apparently. 
it was here, it was dug out and they rebuilt the stone. Just sounds like management, doesn't it? We're going to do it this way. And we do it all like I'm no, we're going to do something far more efficient. So just pull down everything you've just done. Forget about that and do it this way. For my ramblings. And don't forget to jump and jump for joy when we've told you to do it a new way. On the other side of those trees is the Birdswell not National uh, English Heritage site. Um, so as a little cheeky chap here I am, I just went up and said, can I use your toilet? And they let me. <laughs> and now we're walking on. Next to some more wall. been repointing it. Mm. Harrow Scar, Mile Castle 49, a fortified gateway. Mm. So here we're going to have a look. Oh god, more people haunted the stairs all by themselves in a photograph. Damn possible. Wilford West, turret 48B. Roman watchtower. They are the turrets. Evil people everywhere. I just come out of there. And I meant to be going just down through there, but it's closed because some footbridge has been washed out apparently, so I'm having another diversion up and around through the town. Nice looking house. I've done 8.27 miles, so I probably have got a couple more miles to do. County. Crossing the county line. Welcome to Northumberland, England's border country. See quite a bit of a trench here. No wall as such. Could be walking right for a long time. It's definitely a turf uh, ditch there. The view. I think I've probably got about a mile to go before I get to the hostel. Yes. They messed it up, they didn't have me in their books for my booking. But luckily they have a spare room. But I do have the room to myself. As shoddy as it looks. Radiator. Anyway, most of them the most important thing. Bloody PowerPoint. You can tell me that's the only one. 
Decent sized kitchen. I don't think the washing machine works. Let's find the bathrooms. I don't think there's many people here. 